It's the Cornerman Radio Live with Barzini. Shout out to the whole LDDC. Shout out to my co-host, Boxer 9, man. Yo, I know a lot of people haven't heard from the Cornerman Radio in a long time, but I'm just letting y'all know I didn't go. I just took some time off because boxing has been a really disappointing year for me. And I've been just working on other things. So, but let's get in, get let's get it started. I want to talk about this fight. Um, congratulations to Arthur Better Beef, my favorite light heavyweight. The only two light heavyweights I ever really liked in light heavyweight is um, Adonis Stevenson or Arthur Better Beef. Now that Adonis Stevenson is retired. Arthur Betterbeev is my favorite fighter. I've been very, I talk very highly about Arthur Betterbeev. If you've been listening to the Cornerman Radio, um, I haven't done a, a lot of videos on Arthur Betterbeev, but if you see my Arthur Betterbeev topics or the light heavyweight discussions, you will know that I like Arthur Betterbeev the most. Um, so he beat Volstick, so I'm not really going to have no recap on that fight. Everybody know what happened, saw what happened, or heard about what happened. So let's talk about this unification, Arthur Better Beef versus Demetrius Bivol. Now, three titles on the line, a Russian mega showdown, you know, Arthur Betterbeev is the WBC and the IBF champion. Demetrius Bivol is the Super WBA champion. He got elevated to Super WBA when Andre Ward retired. So um, now Bivol has had solid opponents like Jean Pascal, who just knocked out Marcus Brown, a fucking lame-ass nigga. Um and he defeated Joe Smith. He defeated um, Sullivan Barrera. And he also beat Isaac Chilema. Now, those are solid guys I like heavyweight. You know, solid. But I always wanted to see Bivol against the top, the elite, uh, the elite's division. I always wanted to see Bivol against Kovalev, Arthur Better be or Volstick. You know, Volstick is out of the picture because he's not even the champion anymore. So, you know, and you know, Trap House been talking a lot of shit. I heard his little video sounding like he wanted to take a nap. He sounded like he was sleeping. That's what Arthur Better be is going to do with Demetrius Bivol is knock his ass out and put him to sleep. Night, night, nigga. You know what I mean? So, I'm just letting everybody know, like, Arthur Better Beef is going to just smash Demetrius Bivol. I'm not going to talk about how great Bivol is. He beat solid guys. But when you fight in the elite, the elite like Arthur Better Beef, who's going to put you the night, night, nigga, and put you to sleep, that's how Trap House video was. When I was listening to Trap House talking about Bivol and Arthur Beef, I didn't know what to do. I felt, I felt like I was going to sleep on the video. You know, Trap House be talking, then he going to say, Bivol going to be Arthur Man and Beef. That's what you said about Volstick and what happened. What happened, Trap House? What happened? Now, Trap House, Trap House boxing is my bro, man. I love this guy, man. But when we talking boxing, we got to talk boxing. And boxing, he ain't talking sense right now. So we going to give him, he going to eat some crow, and we going to take some money out of his pocket. You know what I mean? My pocket's going to get fatter, and his pocket's going to get lighter. You know what I'm saying? But I got Arthur Betterbeef winning that fight. I know Arthur Betterbeef got a, um IBF mandatory coming up. But these two guys got to fight. Nobody really cares about the light heavyweight division because it's a lot of overseas fighters that have the titles, you know. Um, usually it's a black, Latino, strong um, base in boxing, and there's no force like that. It's all Russian and Ukraine fighters that got the titles. 
So a lot of people are not going to be truly um, really tuned in. You see Canelo fighting Kovalev, but, you know, Canelo going to fight Kovalev and vacate the title, and Ramirez going to get that belt. You know, I just see that all happening. But Arthur better be, let's get it, let's not get it twisted. We know he's going to smash Demetrius Bivol, and that's the bottom line. And we're going to sit and do new and still. WBC, IBF, and the Super WBA champion when these guys fight. I hope this fight happens next year. Is the most looked forward fight for me. I'm not number one, but you can put him at the five. We got to see that fight next year because let's be honest, man. It's not too much of these light heavyweights we want to watch. You know what I mean? Once we see them unify, we want to see that WBO person fight, that winner, and we don't care what happens after that. But that's it. Like, subscribe, comment, click the icon bell.